Konnichiwa! Welcome to Learn Japanese with Mazu Sensei. Today in this lesson, we will learn about Toyuka, Toyuka, which means, or rather, or perhaps, I should say, I mean. Now let's go! Verb, dictionary form, plus Toyuka, verb, dictionary form, plus Toyuka. Noun plus Toyuka, noun plus Toyuka. E adjective plus toyuka, e adjective plus toyuka. Na adjective plus toyuka, na adjective plus toyuka. This means, or rather, or perhaps, I should say, I mean. The first usage of toyuka, toyuka. It is used when speaking while considering whether saying A is appropriate or saying B is appropriate. In other Japanese expression, we have nani nani to itte ii no ka? Nani nani to itte ii no ka wakaranai ga? For example, I'm not sure if strange is the right word or if unique is more appropriate, but I think Tanaka-san is very different. Strange is hen, hen. Unique is doktoku. Doktoku. So after each word, we will use toyuka. Tanaka-san wa hen toyuka, doktoku toyuka. Different. We say kawatte iru. This kawatte iru is used when you want to describe someone's personality. Totemo kawatte imasu. Tanaka-san wa hen toyuka, doktoku toyuka. This is the same meaning as Tanaka-san wa hen to itte ii no ka doktoku to itte ii no ka wakaranai ga totemo kawatte imasu. Another example. I'm not sure if we can say he is quiet or if we can say he's calm, but he's not a very talkative person. Quiet is Otonashi, otonashi. Calm is ochitsuiteiru, ochitsuiteiru. After these words, we will use toyuka. Kare wa otonashi toyuka. Ochitsuiteiru toyuka. Not talkative. In other words, it means he doesn't talk much. To talk is shaberimasu. So a person who is not talkative is amari shaberanai hito desu. Kare wa otonashi toyu ka, ochitsuite iru toyu ka, amari shaberanai hito desu. In other Japanese expression we can use Kare wa otonashi to itte ii no ka, ochitsuite iru to itte ii no ka wakaranai ga, amari shaberanai hito desu. The second usage of toyuka. The later part is often omitted in the conversation. Moreover, what the speaker wants to convey is often found towards the end. For example, this is a conversation between A and B. A says, What kind of person is Mr. Yamada's younger brother? Younger brother is ototo, ototo. What kind of is? Donna, donna. So, Yamada san no ototo te donna hito? And then B says, He's, well, not exactly energetic, more like loud. Energetic is genki, genki. Loud is urusai, urusai. So, after these words, we will use toyuka. 元気というか、うるさいというか So in this sentence, the speaker is describing him as loud rather than energetic. To avoid hurting his feeling by saying he is loud, he added energetic in front to soften the description and convey that he's not necessarily loud. Another example, this is a conversation between A and B. 
A says, "Mr. Tanaka is always saving money, isn't it?" To save money is chokin shimas, chokin shimas. If you want to say someone does one thing and nothing else, we will use te form plus bakari. So Tanaka san wa chokin shite bakari da yo ne. And then B says, "Yeah, he is not exactly frugal." More like overly stingy. Frugal is erai, erai. Stingy is kechi, kechi. Overly stingy. When you want to say something is too much or too something, we will use stem word plus sugimas. Kechi sugimas. This is overly stingy. So after these words, we will use toyuka. Hmm, erai toyuka, kechi sugiru toyuka. In this sentence, the speaker is describing him as overly stingy rather than frugal. The second toyuka can be omitted when forming sentences. In everyday use, it is often omitted. For example. Mr. Tanaka is interesting, or should I say, strange. Interesting is omoshiroi, omoshiroi. Strange is hen, hen. So we can omit the second toyuka. It becomes Tanaka san wa omoshiroi toyuka, hen da yo ne. Another example. I think male students are simple. Or rather, childish. Male student, 男子学生，男子学生。Simple is 単純，単純。Childish. This is 子供っぽい，子供っぽい。So let's omit the second toyuka. 男子学生は単純というか、子供っぽいと思う。Instead of toyuka, the form teyuka is also used in spoken language. For example, him passing the JOPT N2 is like a miracle, or should I say, lucky? I can't believe it. To pass the exam is something ni gokaku shimas. 彼が N2 に合格することは、in order to show your feeling of surprise, we can change ことは into なんて。彼が N2 に合格するなんて。Miracle is 奇跡、奇跡。Lucky is lucky, lucky. So after these words, we can use te yuka. In a daily conversation, 奇跡っていうか、ラッキーっていうか、I can't believe it. 信じられません。彼が N2 に合格するなんて、奇跡っていうか、ラッキーっていうか、信じられないよ。Life in Japan is enjoyable, or should I say, challenging. Anyway, there are various things happening, and it's hard to explain. Life in Japan, 日本の生活，日本の生活。Enjoyable, 楽しい，楽しい。Challenging is 大変，大変。So after these words, we will use te yuka. Anyway, is とにかく，とにかく。Various, いろいろな things is こと So there are various things will be いろいろなことがあります To explain is 説明します説明します Hard to do something is stem word plus ずらいです説明しづらいです日本の生活は楽しいっていうか大変っていうかとにかくいろいろなことがあって説明しづらいです。
There is also a form, というかなんというか。This is often used when you think that something wasn't communicated effectively and you want to rephrase or provide additional information. For example, it's unfortunate. I mean, anyway, let's do our best. So in this sentence, the speaker first says, it's unfortunate. And then after that, the speaker realized that it wasn't communicated effectively. So the speaker wants to rephrase it. So we will use, というかなんというか。Unfortunate is, 残念。残念。それは残念というか、なんというか。Anyway, is、yes, とにかく。Let's do our best. 頑張って。それは残念というか、なんというか。とにかく頑張って。I think this question is difficult to answer, or perhaps I should say inappropriate as a question directed at women. So in this sentence, the speaker first says, I think this question is difficult to answer. After that, the speaker rephrases it and then adds some additional information. Difficult to do something is stem word plus ずらい。この質問に答えづらい。And then after that, we will use というかなんというか。この質問に答えづらいというか、なんというか。Woman is 女性、女性。As a question, this as is として、として。女性にする質問としては、inappropriate is 不適切、不適切。この質問は答えづらいというか、なんというか。女性にする質問としては不適切だと思います。So this is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please try to make your own sentence in the comment box below. If you have any questions or comments or requests, please also write it down. Don't forget to like this video and if it's the first time watching this channel, don't forget to subscribe. いつもありがとうございます。バイバイ。